The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're located. My name is Mark Watson and I'm joined by my colleague Barry Holland during today's webinar, where we will present to you on our remote rig intake and where remote solutions can drive efficient efficiency during the rig intake process and cost savings where um, they can be realized in some cases over 25 percent. So just to take you through the agenda, um, today we have a, a webinar scheduled for 30 minutes so we'll, we'll do our absolute best to keep within that limit. Uh, if we're running that little bit over we'll let you know at the end. So in terms of agenda, we'll have a, a quick introduction. We'll then move on to discuss where we are as an industry today during 2020. We'll discuss rig intake as we see it um, today in 2020 and beyond. We'll then have a discussion um, around what is LR Remote, where we have deployed LR Remote and how our clients have benefited. So we've got a couple of case studies to raise with, uh, raise with you. We'll then discuss LR Remote, where it can be used within the rig and take project to save cost. And towards the end, we'll then discuss the combination of different rig and take models um, using LR Remote to, to increase efficiency as well. So that will take us through the majority of the 30 minutes. And towards the end, We'll then look at some of the questions that are raised uh, and provide some answers. But I understand that you can raise questions at any time through the, the through the panel. So today it's myself, Mark Watson. Um, I am the business development manager for Lloyd's Register in terms of the Drilling Integrity Services Group, and I'm joined by Barry Holland. And I'll let Barry introduce himself. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, good morning. Uh, my name is Barry Holland uh, and I'm the Senior Specialist Drill Through Equipment and one of the technical support group in the Aberdeen office. Thanks Barry. So today's webinar is actually um, second in a series of webinars that we're, that we're running. Um, the first one was the four key steps to successful rig intake, which was back in October last year. Um, that recording is still available, so if anyone is interested in that, we can, uh, can easily make that available. Um, just to let you know, all all attendees are on mute, and the questions, as I, as I mentioned, can be asked through throughout the webinar. Um, a recording of this webinar, including the slides, will be shared afterwards. So, in terms of Lloyd's Register, um, I I am aware most of you uh, from, from reviewing the, the the registration list are very familiar with Lloyd's Register um, because we have current clients and, and, and hopefully future clients joining. So Lloyd Register should be familiar to you. And if not, um, a global company, of course, with uh, a, a very long um, heritage over 250 years, um, working in the maritime and, and the oil and gas and, and the clean energy industries. So what we like to say and, and you know where do we where do we operate? It's in terms of from reservoir to refinery and beyond. That's that's our statement. So we do everything from drilling, the project management of drilling wells, to to the assurance of of rigs, um, asset integrity for offshore floating and fixed structures, and to anything onshore um, at the downstream and uh, end, and also our clean energy uh, capabilities have, have have recently evolved for offshore wind, um, tidal power, and, and and some grid connections. So we. Um, we can we can cover all aspects of of clean energy and, and oil and gas. So today, as an introduction, um, and this is really the, the, the crux of the webinar, uh, is is the challenges that we see within our client base that we see in, in the business that we do with our clients every day. So those challenges: selecting, inspecting, and accepting a rig. It's already a complex process. Um, we had a downturn you know, five years ago. So we're still recovering from that downturn and, and the effects of that downturn on rig availability, rig uh, utilization. Travel restrictions, of course, are presenting an additional challenge um, with the with the COVID-19 pandemic. All of this has, has 
affected our clients that we see where projects have been delayed or projects that are still going ahead have the risk of being delayed due to these restrictions. It can raise some questions around how to, to conduct your assurance and will that have an effect on, on any safety aspects or, or non-productive time during your drilling operations. So we see these challenges at the moment. What, what we see is that our industry and, and, and providers like ourselves need to challenge the way of working. Um, that there needs to be a, an efficiency drive in terms of how we conduct this type of work and, and, and a cost reduction for our clients. So that is what we'll, we'll cover in part today. So the purpose of the presentation um, is what is Ella Remote? Where have we deployed it and how do clients benefit? Where can LR Remote be used during a rig and take project to save cost and then combining rig and take models for increased efficiency? So very quickly, we'll, we'll talk about where we are today. So we know, we, we all know very well what's happened this year with the, with the global pandemic. Um, and, and of course, at the same time, the oil price crash uh, just earlier this year. So what, what we see and when we talk to our, our clients is many of the projects, the, the, the well construction projects have, have been deferred. They've been pushed to potentially end of this year or, or even further into start or mid of 2021. And that's had a, 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 an after effect of rig, uh, rig utilization has fallen. Um, rigs have gone on standby. There has been job losses and right sizing in the industry across all of the um, the service side, uh, drilling contractors and, and operators as well. So there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. That's that's for sure. But what we see is that, that our clients still maintain the demand um, for rig and take and rig inspection services. But we need to look at it in a new light. We need to be more efficient. We need to be to look at cost savings, and we need to challenge the traditional model. So what is LR Remote? So LR Remote um, is something that's been used within Lloyd's Register now um, for quite a number of years. It, it just hasn't been used in, in the particular services that we provide uh, around the drilling rigs. It's been used for onshore certification for our management systems service stream, and it's also been used in our marine and offshore uh, for, for the classification of ships. So it's, it's not new to LR, um, it's just new to, to ourselves and to our, our clients, our client base. So it's it's a flexible solution, um, and it means that we, uh, under these circumstances, with travel restrictions, we can continue to work with our clients and continue to meet their needs for rig and take and rig inspection. We're actually using it um, at the moment, and um, we'll talk about a couple of case studies, and that includes onshore and offshore rigs. It also opens up new possibilities to support our clients. And I'd like you to think during the webinar of, of any examples or, or circumstances or situations you find yourself in in the past or, or, or can see into the future to see where LR Remote might actually help you. And we'd be, we'd be happy to see, those, uh, to see those suggestions. What we actually also see is that LR Remote can support complex rig and take projects, which we'll cover in some detail. So we'll look at the diagram here. Normally our process is that a project, a client project, will start with our technical support team on shore. Um, we define the scope, we, we create the plan, and we send out our surveyors or our auditors, and they attend the drilling rig in question. They conduct their inspection, their audit, and they then develop a report. So they have to go to the installation, they have to be. They have to travel there. They have to uh, mobilise, whether it's by helicopter, etc., and 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 they're on board that rig for the duration of the scope of work. That is the the traditional model of of our business in its in its simplest form. If you use LR Remote, what we're essentially doing is involving our technical support team, who are based in Aberdeen. Uh, we have a number of disciplines in Aberdeen, and they supported by potentially one LR surveyor, our auditor, or a company rep, um, or even somebody from the rig crew, they are supported um, by using the LR remote app downloaded onto a device. It then connects the user back to the support team in Aberdeen. 
and the scope of work can be coordinated. So again, look at the, 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 the diagram. We the, the LR Remote um, software allows video footage to, to be fed back on a live basis. It also allows uh, videos to be taken in, in case it, the, 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 um, there's not the bandwidth for for the, the, the software to work. And that can then be stored um, on the device and then transferred back to LR, back in the office, and to our client whilst we do the inspection and audit. So the report can then be compiled um, with a mix of the technical support team at Aberdeen and the surveyor or auditor on the rig with the support of the client. Um, Barry, do you want to just give a, 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 an insight now that you've been involved in a couple of these projects um, as a member of a, of a team conducting this, conducting an LR remote survey? Can you maybe give a couple of words on your experience with LR remote? Yes, it's um, like Mark said, it's, it's a very flexible tool. Uh, and you know can be used to look at single uh, entity items like we were doing on one on one of the rig inspections we were doing. Uh, it, it gives a clear <clears throat> uh, image and allows you to direct people in, in what you want to look at and the depth in which you want to look at it. Uh, it is, as Mark said correctly, it's, it's live streaming. It, it allows you time to see and direct what you want to look at and it also allows you to freeze frame something you see to uh, analyze it and then to then go back to the person who is uh, uh, holding the device or operating the device to interrogate something a bit further and of course as Mark said correctly at the same time when this has been live streamed clients are also part of that live streaming they can see and they can ask questions as well uh, it, it works well uh, and it has quite a few variances that you can use it for throughout the course of a, a survey or, or inspection. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Barry. So, so just to, to build upon Barry, uh, what Barry says there, some of the benefits, um, of course, we, may, we will mention it uh, a couple more times, is, is LR Remote is a solution to, to the current restrictions in COVID-19. We've spent a lot of time and effort in, in the last couple of weeks and couple of, couple of months um, looking to see how we can mobilize our people to, to drilling rigs. And, and that is all down to um, the ability um, to, to move people around, government restrictions, etc. So to, to be able to live stream um, onto the rig uh, where there's somebody already existing in country, um, whether it's uh, a, a, another LR surveyor um, or whether it's a company rep or somebody from the rig crew, it means that we can still conduct our work. It also means co-witnessing uh, and collaboration is possible. Um, we've got an example later on of, of our client joining um, us on, on, on the actual LR remote um, activity. So new possibilities, something that, that our client base um, may not just call upon us for uh, at short notice um, is to join any site investigation where there's an incident, um, equipment failure, it, it, it all happens very quickly. Um, things need to be resolved very quickly and if there's expertise required at short notice we can be brought in um, in a matter of hours to, to, assess, uh, to, to assess remotely. Rig shortlisting and selection, of course we do support in rig selection but we tend to, to, to do that after the shortlist has been compiled and what we see is some of our clients who will send some of their more junior uh, drilling engineers or, or, or a, a team from the, from the wells department to go and look at uh, the rigs and to start shortlisting them, we could actually join that verification activity even for a matter of hours um, to support from a technical perspective. Um, witnessing testing, so whether it's a, a, an FAT or um, shear ram testing, any sort of one day testing, um, it, it, it doesn't make economical sense to send a surveyor you know, with travel days and all the expenses, et cetera. We can join that activity again just for a matter of hours. It's the same for third-party equipment and in terms of following up on previous punch list items, recommendations after the intake process, um, LR Remote is ideal for that because of course we can close them out uh, and, and visually see that, that they have been closed. The other benefit is of course Lloyd's Register has, has, has many 
subject matter experts and disciplines throughout you know many of our departments so if there is an actual issue on the rig and let's say example there's a there's a failure somewhere and it comes down to to a, a structural item we could have a structural engineer from from our asset integrity team join through LRMO on board the rig um, to provide his advice and, and and to support that project so so it's not just um the, the surveyors or auditors that we provide we could bring in other subject matter experts from LR and the last point here, what we see is a blended approach um, brings most value, and we're going to talk about that in, in a minute. Uh, Barry, uh, would you like to, to run us through some of the some of the challenges with um, with LR Remote? Because of course, it, nothing's perfect, so it, it, we have to make sure that um, things are things are agreed up front with clients so that we don't fall into the, to the, the traps of the challenges. Yeah, certainly, Mark. Uh, if you recall one of Mark's earlier slides where he was talking about the Aberdeen team sitting looking at the job. So what we do is uh, we evaluate whether or not we can use LR Remote on uh, uh, location or not and any kind of limits it may have. Of course, being, being what it is, it is very reliant on bandwidth, Wi-Fi wi connection uh, and ability for people to uh, upload the app onto a device on the rig, uh, maybe a phone or whatever. Uh, we, we on, our, on one of the jobs we did, we actually did the whole job on the second lowest setting uh, of, of the bandwidth on, on the system, and it still worked very well, very clear and very precise what we're looking at. Again, it's it's getting the support from, from the rig crew. Uh, they, they may be willing or not willing to go around and, and show us everything. Um, again, it's a it's time constraint for a company rep who may not be able to uh, do everything as well. Again, we, we have issues around EX and dead zones on the rig, but again, we must remember that we can record, upload and review at a later date, which is, is one of the big benefits with it. It, it eats up. Your, your, cat, your, your memory, if you're using an iPhone, it eats up your battery life and it eats up your memory. So there's a lot, you have to either uh, have an external power supply for it or charge up your phone on a regular basis. Uh, what, what we've found is best is that we, we, at the early planning stage, we select what we want to look at in conjunction with the client and we try to keep that very tight so we can manage the inspection within the operating life of the device that is recording it and taking part on it. Uh, yes, there's limitations to it, but that's all part of the pre-planning that we have to take, take into account and through discussion with our client, whoever wants us to use it. Um, is we have to get some some uh, ground rules and information in place up front to allow us to come back with an honest answer of whether or not we can use it or not. I would say probably 90 odd percent of the time we would be able to use it in one form or another. Um, it, it's also, Mark was talking about getting people there. If you had an issue on a rig and you needed something there, all it is a matter of the phone call, us, getting you uh, to upload the app, us in Aberdeen getting the license in place uh, through through your software provider and within a couple of hours to three hours we would be up and running and being able to record and help with any uh, technical advice on, on whatever the subject may be, whether it be a failure incident or just to look at something. Um, so yes, it has uh, a lot of benefits that side, but there is some challenges around it as well. Okay, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Barry. Okay, so now we've just described at high level as well, we've described what LR Remote is. Um, we're going to move on to, to where we've deployed it and, and how have our clients benefited. So we've got a couple of case studies and I appreciate there's a lot of text here. And so I'll, I'll give you the give you the highlights. So we were involved in a project with a sixth generation semi-submersible. Um, and the client had contracted the the, the rig um, to undertake some drilling offshore Africa. Now, at the time, the rig was in Northern Europe and had a planned shipyard period. And that was just at the right, at the same time as the pandemic um, had, had got to the point where borders were shut and, and, and nobody could move. 
Now, Ella had already been on the rig. We'd already conducted one of the stages um, before uh, before the pandemic had, had come, and we had some some more work to complete uh, during the during the project. So the business issue. What what was the challenge? Uh, we weren't able to mobilise anyone, um, a, a full team essentially to to the rig, um, and our client as well was suffering from from moving people around uh, to, to attend the rig. So what did we do? Well, we used LR Remote. Our technical support team in Aberdeen joined um, joined the activity to support a local team, which we put in place um, to actually conduct this scope of work. And that included um, a general inspection of rig uh, equipment and systems, uh, a number of tests, the inclination testing, um, installation of guideline winches, um, the lateral riser retention system, um, uh, drill pipe and choke kill hoses, and actually witnessing BOP maintenance. So as Barry just mentioned, our, our scope of work that we will conduct using LR Remote will be agreed with the client in advance uh, to make sure it works and it's of value. So, so that you know, this is a good case study of um, where LR, LR, was, LR Remote was used due to the COVID pandemic, and we still managed to, to complete our uh, con contractual obligations to our client. Um, a, a, a nice piece about this case study is the client had a subject matter expert um, in Brazil who was meant to travel to the shipyard and, and to join the rig and, and could not do so. And, and that, that individual joined by LR Remote and was, was able to conduct their scope um, satisfactorily. So that was a, a, a good benefit for our client. Okay, the case study number two. Um, this is a, a project that we've completed quite recently in Kazakhstan. So our client had a, a, a challenge. Um, they were obligated uh, to drill, essentially, um, or they, they would face some sort of repercussions from the government bodies. So. Um, they had identified a rig in um, in Kazakhstan suitable for the drilling program. The rig, the land rig, was fully disassembled, and they had a project plan to commence 60 days, to, uh, commence drilling operations 60 days from award of the contract, and pre-contract inspection, which we were asked to do, was part of their assurance process. So similar idea, COVID-19 travel restrictions. It meant that LR could not mobilise anyone into Kazakhstan. So how did we support? Um, working with a client, of course, we, we used LR Remote and we were able to use our technical support team in Aberdeen to support the documentation review, which was done through SharePoint um, in consultation with the, drill, the drilling rig owner. And then over a four day period, we were involved in the inspection of the drilling equipment, including the mud, the BOP, uh, power plant, electrical and, and the safety systems. So it was a benefit to the client because, of course, they could keep to the project timeline uh, and their commitment to the to the authorities. They saved significant costs of of sending two of our surveyors to to Kazakhstan um, and and and, and mobilising in country there. And what we did um, is we mobilised one of our local Kazakh um, piping inspectors to actually go to the rig and to use the device and live stream back to Aberdeen, and that had its its advantages, of course, because um, uh, bridging the, the language barrier, so it meant that we could get our work done in, in a reasonable manner. So the technical team um, in Aberdeen, um, we have uh, Barry, who's introduced himself. He, he covers BOP and well control. We have Ian, who covers the kind of drilling system, rotating equipment, marine side, and we have Colin, who covers um, electrical systems. So, you know, as a team, they could actually perform the scope and, and shared. Um, Shared the, shared the load across the four day survey. So we've got a few, just a few stills here um, to show you. Now, Barry's gonna talk you through a little bit around each one, but I think the important message we've got is, is this is the level of quality that we can receive by um, video footage. And these are just stills of video footage. And it, what it allows us to do is whether it's live or whether it's a recording, we can stop the video and look and look in more detail and things like this defect here um, can be can be looked at and, and reported on. But I'll let Barry discuss this and, and the next few slides uh, just to give you an idea of, of, of how LR Remote works and what we were, we're actually looking at. Thank you, Mark. 
<clears throat> yes, as Mark correctly said, this this was spotted. It's um, uh, sort of your uh, um, draw works, uh, and and what it was was the while we were taking the video and we're looking inside the unit, the um, the lubricator uh, piping was noticed to be damaged. Uh, now, what that allowed us to do was actually stop at, at that point in time, zoom in closer to it, and part of the application of um, LR Remote is that you can actually draw on the screen to highlight where you want someone to look at closer. So that, that allowed a, a deeper inspection. Um, and the other thing is what Mark was talking about, not just were we videoing this uh, throughout the course of the day, it also allows uh, the technical team in Aberdeen, uh, out, out, if you like, out of working at hours of the local people to sit down and go back and review the, the video footage and then notice issues which uh, allows us, allows the on-site people to button up the equipment because we have the evidence that we can look at and we can see as we move forward. Uh, do you want to go to the next one, please? The, the, I think the next two or three photographs are all based around the, the job that we're doing in uh, Norway. This is part of the load testing of, of the riser handling uh, crane on the rig. Uh, again, as Mark correctly said, what was happening was it was allowing us to, to supply evidence to our client that certain tasks were being undertaken and also at the same time they subject expert uh, were able to also witness what was happening and then as part of the live streaming and the live conversation uh, could participate in asking uh, for us to look at something uh, a bit closer or to do something else in addition. Um, again, this is where we actually take this, we can, as we said earlier, we can take this uh, a still shot at any point throughout the video, if there's something, it needs to be looked at closer. And next one, Mark, please. This is part, one of the big things that was going on with the rig was it, had, uh, it was going through DP trials. Uh, it was a major work done on um, thrusters. So again, the client's expert was elsewhere in the world. Uh, I think Mark said rightly he was in Brazil. So we could actually stream to him and he could be part of the acceptance of uh, all the uh, Premier and, and C trials that were going on around all DP work that had been carried out on the rig. Uh, again, it's just an evidence that, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, we can work together uh, and all experts can can see what's going on and be participate in while we're doing this through LR Remote. Uh, next one, please, Mark. Oh, uh, this one here is part of the modifications that were going on with the rig because of where the rig was going off Africa, because of the level of current and what the depth it was going to be working or is going to be working in. There was a number of um, modifications made around the moon pool to the riser handling system to the BOP handling system, and also during the C trials, uh, the DP trials, I beg your pardon, we we ran the BOP, and this is just again allowing their uh, well control. Uh, specialist, uh, client, the client specialist, to witness what was happening and to see what was going on at the time, and again be part of it as if he was there. Uh, again, it's just a, 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 I feel like I'm repeating it, but it's one thing that this does for you. It allows you to participate in something when you're not there in real time, uh, and I think that is a benefit and a cost saving to everybody. I think that's is it. Any, oh. Again, going back to the land rig, if, if you guys are familiar with land rigs, you know, you know the way that they do or do not look after equipment. So again, here we highlighted a, a set of drill pipe uh, slips, and I think most of you will, will witness the, the various issues that we raised uh, by taking a still out of the video and then highlighting so everybody was aware of what had to be uh, fixed and it was all part of our recommendation. I will make one, one statement with this one. The, the inspection of this and the report was 175 pages in length and that was down to the detail of, of photographs and videos that we could supply to the client to allow him to have a full understanding of the condition of the rig. Uh, 
Okay, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Barry. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next section. Um, where can we use our remote during a rig intake project to save cost? So a busy slide here, but essentially what we've got is uh, along the top is we've got the, the typical stages of a rig intake process. And of course, each and every single client has their own interpretation, their own process. Um, but we hope this is generic enough to cover to cover what uh, what is generally generally happens. We generally see they last around 12 months. Again, things can differ. Um, we also have where LR, um, you know, maybe around five to ten, a little bit, bit you know, further further back, where we used to be involved. We we would only really be involved in a, in a few stages, whether it's just the selection of a rig, um, conducting a condition survey, and and then the acceptance. But but you know, we had reasonable reasonable involvement, um, but more of a an off the shelf uh, product, more of an off the shelf assistance. Um, along the bottom there, we've got um, a number of items there that we we tend to see the drilling and wells team from the operator take care of, um, you know, where they're involved. So the point of this this slide is to, to say where LR are, are typically involved in an intake process. What we see now, maybe in the past five years, um, you know, market circumstances have changed, um, rig contracting has changed, lots of things have changed. We see ourselves involved in many more of the aspects of rig intake process. Um, yes, the selection uh, piece, uh, but much earlier in the process, looking at you know the BOP, the compatibility to the well, we're involved in the intake planning, um, you know a lot of the desktop work around uh, acceptance criteria, um, you know looking to management systems, these types of things. So, and, and when it comes to the rig verification, it's not just a one-off rig condition survey. That there's there's normally a project orientated approach that brings us all the way to the acceptance survey. Now, if we look at this, and where can we use LR Remote? Um, we've, we've highlighted that uh, with the red outline. And what we will say is we certainly can use LR Remote in these areas. And it, it, in some occasions, it can be used exclusively in these areas or a blended model, which means we can start a, a particular service, a particular study, or a particular piece of work using LR Remote, but we still might need to go to the rig. It just depends on, on the, the particular um, the particular item. So that gives you an idea of where LR remote can be um, can be used. And it depends on how complex your rig intake is. Are you taking a rig straight from another operator that's that's hot and ready, you know, minimal verification? Or are you taking a cold stack rig that's been cold stacked for three months, uh, uh, three years, sorry, uh, into a new region? So things can differ. Um, examples of cost saving. Now. We've, we've done a lot of analysis on the type of projects that, that we conduct, um, and we see that typically 25% savings can be realized. Um, that includes expenses in terms of airfares, travel expenses, subsistence, and the travel time of our surveyors or auditors. And, and generally, it will take one day travel there and one day travel back. But of course, you have in country travel, for example, the Kazakhstan project. Um, it would take an additional day to get to get to that rig, so sometimes it can be four travel days. So all of that adds up. Um, an example there is uh, on on the right hand side. Oh, sorry. The example there on the right hand side um, is of the 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 land rig in Kazakhstan, um, and we're just using some figurative. Um, Financial information there. Sorry, I've got an issue with the slide. So what we see is, um, if LR remote is used, um, for example, to replace Severe B, uh, we replace Severe B with a technical support, um, a member of our team from Aberdeen. You can see there's a, a saving in terms of the, the the day rate that's paid for the surveyor um, and all the travel costs. And in this this occasion, this example here, it's actually a 28% saving. You know, some projects um, will not achieve that sort of cost saving, but of course, some projects will. If if we're involved in an incident investigation, or we're involved in a one-day or, or two-day project, if it can be done by LR remote, you can save significant sums by not travelling anyone, and it to be done on an, maybe an hourly basis, um, and not have to travel anyone. So, 
Um, some new costs can be incurred, um, depending on the type of project. We have seen that some more time might be needed for analysis uh, and reporting time. So that is that is something that we will discuss with our client um, uh, when we're designing the scope of work. And of course, the, the hidden costs of the company representative or the rig crew assisting us um, have to be considered as well. So we're, we're just towards the end of the webinar and we want to raise something um, where we see uh, not just cost savings, by potential cost savings by using LR remote, but we see a, a, pen, a potential uh, drive in efficiency uh, during a rig intake project. So particularly a complex rig intake project. Um, what, what we see is our clients, the drilling of wells departments within the operators, they don't typically have um, or they have varying levels of expertise around drilling rigs um, and how to bring rigs into on, onto contract. And what we can do um, is provide on a, a project specific basis, we can provide um, support uh, and collaborate with our clients at the planning phase, um, which we can lo look at areas where we can drive efficiency and reduce cost amongst the whole process. So if we look at the next slide, what we would, um, what we say to our clients when a, a complex rig intake is allocating one of our rig intake engineers into the actual drilling and wells team can be of great benefit. It means that we can be involved in the planning stages with the drilling superintendents and the team. We can be involved in a lot of the documentation and, and the framework that needs to be, to be thought through and, and developed in terms of acceptance criteria, gap analysis for new country entries or internal practices that need to be checked. We can manage interfaces with a drilling contractor and, and the key element there is finding efficiencies in the rig intake. If we do it early enough and we do it well enough and work with everyone as a, uh, you know, collaboratively, we believe that that is, is, will drive efficiency and, and save cost. It also means that you've got somebody in your team who is an expert um, on drilling rigs and drilling rig intake there to assist at a moment's notice during decision making and, and any problem solving. If, we, if you have this arrangement, you can also um, take that burden off of the drilling superintendent to manage um, further stages where other LR surveyors or auditors will attend. So very quickly, the, the, the benefits, of course, the drilling team, the drilling superintendents can focus on their main role. There's competency in the team. The clients will benefit from our experience of rig and take projects. Um, you know, we, can, we can highlight issues ahead of time um, potential potential risks to the project, non-productive time, etc. And actually, the resource we put in, into your office can actually do a lot of the work up front. So you're not getting to the end of a, a rig and take project, and, and, and most of the work is done at the end. Is actually done throughout the, uh, the the process, and it's not a long-term commitment. Um, this this sort of arrangement is flexible and uh, can be a matter of weeks or, or even just a, a couple of months. It's um, it, it depends on the type of project. Um, some of our clients uh, are involved in, in multiple rig intakes at one time, um, and that's also a consideration uh, for a rig intake engineer. Now, some of the challenges around this, of course, the loss of independence if LR is, is embedded within a team, that's something we have to manage, and the role needs to be well defined. Otherwise, th this project creep. Um, and the timing, is, the timing has to be right. We, we, we see many clients involve us when it's too late, um, but if we get the timing right, it can be beneficial. So if, if you look at that concept of, 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 of a subject matter expert in your team assisting you with your rig intake and using LR Remote at the same time, um, that is something we see of, of great value going forward um, for, for our client base. So we, we see the, the, the picture here, the rig intake engineer is, is is not taking the full responsibility of all these items that are uh, with a red outline, but it means they're supporting the drilling and wells team, and there's less of a burden on the on the drilling and wells team, um, and they can get on with their their primary function. And it also means that LR remote um, can then be planned and integrated into the entire process to 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 find those cost savings and make sure the rig and take is as efficient as possible. So we have a, a case study, this is the last slide. Um, so we have a case study here on um, where we assisted a client with two rigs actually, uh, two complex rig intake projects with semi-submersibles. So very briefly, the client um, in Northern Europe 
had um, contracted a, um, the, the two rigs, and one was a new build, and the other one was already operating in country. So two completely different scenarios, two different um, approaches to each rig and how to intake them, and uh, and different risks. So what so what did we do? Well, we actually embedded our rig intake engineer um, in their organisation just to cover the new build rig. Um, new build rigs, of course, is, is it's something you've, you've been involved with or not, and sometimes you need that experience in the team. And um, we were in that, it, we put somebody with that experience in there to, to support the drilling wells team. The operational rig, well, what we actually did is our technical support uh, team in Aberdeen assisted them um, on the intake uh, on an ad hoc basis. We didn't put them in the office, they, they supported them remotely. Um, and then when the, the workload was high enough, it was intense enough, we then put somebody into their office to join the project. So what was the, the value? What did our client see in terms of the value? Of course, they had the expertise and the, the, the expertise was missing from their drilling wells team. We could provide some, provide that. Um, each project um, had its own complexities, which again, we covered in our approach. And it meant that we could then find areas of each intake that, that had potential risk. So we found there was some issues with emergency preparedness. One of the rigs had to hop the BOP. That was something that had to be considered. Maintenance management, barrier management, and hose integrity were all issues raised because we were in there early, we could plan correctly, and we could look at the well program of the rig and, and, and drive that efficiency. And, and thankfully, the, the, the rigs um, uh, through that process are, are operating well. Okay, so I guess before we go to questions, I think we just thank you for your time. Um, we have given you a, a high level overview of what LR Remote is, where we've used it, um, how can it be integrated into a rig intake project, um, and, and some thoughts there on how we can drive efficiency and, and cost savings and really move away from the traditional model of, of uh, rig inspection to a more uh, customized rig and take approach. So we're going to move to questions. Um, so there is a number of questions coming up on the um, the panel here. And the first one, um, Barry, if uh, you don't mind taking care of this one, is how, how well does LR Remote work with a BOP inspection? Um, Barry, if you'd like to cover that, please. Yeah, it's actually, I think if, if you actually look at LR Remote, it's actually very really good on single uh, uh, equipment items. Uh, it allows to, you to get in close. Whatever you can do with a camera, you can do with LR Remote Plus. Um, as I say, the, the big thing with uh, LR Remote is that uh, if you're doing it, if our surveyor is doing it, you've added, uh, uh, along with his knowledge, you've now got ability for, for you as a client to see what you're doing in real time. Or if not, uh, then we, from a technical support, can look at the BOP and then give uh, as good as answer to its condition uh, and the way going forward. So yes, uh, round single uh, equipment items is it, very good. Um, and I think we, we touched on that earlier about not uh, trying to do too much at one time. Okay. Okay, thank you, Barry. Um, another question, again, in the application of LR Remote, uh, in terms of reviewing a maintenance system um, and, 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 uh, and the and certification, that's the question. How does LR Remote cover that? How how's that worked with uh, the case studies, I guess, is, is what we're referring to. Well, the, 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 uh, the, the maintenance uh, uh, review and documentation certification review, uh, as I think you mentioned earlier, Mark, it, it was, we sent the drilling contractor a list of documentation and information we wanted. We set up a, a SharePoint, and he downloaded it onto SharePoint, and we then managed to review all that information uh, uh, at, at desktop. And at the same time, you know, if we had to go back to the client, we, we could drop uh, an email back to uh, their expert on a certain area. Then moving from that to moving to the rig, what we, what we had already done by doing the desktop, we highlighted some areas that we wanted to be verified. So 
if we had the MPT on a piece of equipment, we could now focus either the surveyor, if he was going to the rig, or the company man or rig personnel. We want to go look at the crosshead on mud pump number two because there's been some uh, downtime with it or part, pull the valve out of the choke and kill manifold. We then can use LR remote to focus on that to, for us to look at it to see if repairs, replacements have been carried out. And in general, uh, to give us a feel, is maintenance being conducted on the rig uh, as well? Okay, Mark. Okay, thanks, Paddy. Um, we have a question um, if LR Remote can be used by the Lloyd's Register IVB team. I, I, I don't see any reason why, why it could not be used by the IVB team. Uh, uh, it's very similar to what uh, LR QA's been doing, if I remember correctly, is where they're doing recertification of uh, ISO accreditation uh, using LR remote as well. Uh, one uh, very similar to our desktop we talked about, but then also to actually out on site to verify, uh, again, looking at the equipment, looking, at, looking to see if it's been maintained and any kind of internal inspection or pressure testing that may happen. Yeah, thanks, Barry. Uh, we have a number of questions. They're all in a, in a similar, similar fashion. Is, is when LR are using um, maybe a, a rig crew member or a company man, uh, a company representative on the rig? How well does the? the quite a few questions on this. How is, how is the interaction between the technical team in Aberdeen with the person who the user? How how well does that work? How well can you direct the? Um, the user to what we want to look at. That's that's a question that's been raised a few times. Yeah, uh, but what what we've learned from lessons learned by using it. Uh, first of all, uh, what the device that we're using, and it tends to be their the, the, the mobile phone, is they must have a headset for it or earpiece, uh, so they can clearly understand what it is we want to look at. Uh, through the whole land rig inspection, where we were using uh, our LR uh, piping inspector, it, it worked out very well. We just directed them. If he didn't understand us, uh, we would stop and we could have the conversation, just as we are now. Uh, and then we could redirect them. And even when he's holding the camera uh, or, or, or the device for recording, you can tell him turn right, turn left, up, down. So yes, it, it takes a bit of getting used to as the operator, and it takes a bit of getting used to as the person who's directing the, the operator of the camera. Uh, and it's where it's beneficial is, uh, sorry, where, where the best beneficial part would be is where we're using somebody who is knowledgeable around the rig and rig equipment, uh, as in they know what a mud pump is, they know what a choke manifold is. That helps. If you've got somebody who has no knowledge of, of the equipment at all, that, that makes it longer and harder to get across to what it is you want to actually look at. Okay, Mark. Thanks, Barry. Um, I think maybe the, the final question, why can LR remote not be used um, for accept, acceptance surveys to minimise surveyors on location. And, and this is something we've discussed a lot together with our clients. Um, and Barry, I'll let you, you cover that uh, in terms of LR remote for acceptance surveys. Well, the, the LR, the LR uh, remote, now, you may recall the photograph you looked at. You will see it as time stamped. You, you will see that it's actually even got the uh, location marked on it under coordinates. So we have something that is, is timed, dated, and located when we're looking at a piece of equipment. So we can use it uh, to, to look at uh, pressure testing, uh, say for instance, an FAT or acceptance of, of uh, operation of equipment. What you lose out on by that is you can only see what the camera is looking at your peripheral vision as a surveyor is not there. And a lot of times uh, when we do surveys uh, as a surveyor, you pick up the peripheral items that, that it draws your attention to look at something. That may not always be picked up while you're doing, doing the acceptance and verification. Uh, I, I do not see a problem using this uh, to, to do verification. Okay, thanks, buddy. 
Um, so that's all that we've got time for today. Um, so I guess just as a final comment, we thank you for attending. Um, the the presentation will be shared with you, and that includes the contact details for myself and Barry. So please do not hesitate to get in touch with us if, if you've got uh, any more feedback. All the questions answered in the system will be um, um, yeah. will, uh, raised in the system will be answered um, by in writing. So thank you again for joining, and um, have a good day. Yeah, thank you.